All right, Dennis mentioned the possibility of rain this week, so here's a heads up about driving in the rain. Hydroplaning is a serious risk. You literally have no control over your vehicle. Taking action reporter Jackie Calloway shows you there are a number of things you can do to avoid getting into an accident. This is what's left of Carl Hall's SUV. He lost control of it when he hydroplaned on a highway two years ago. When I lost control, I was floating on a skim of water, you know. And then I was backwards. And then next thing I know, I was upside down in a ditch, coughing and choking from being underwater. This amateur video captured the accident as it was happening. After hydroplaning, Carl's SUV went into a slide and careened off the road, landing upside down in rushing water. Your tires physically lose contact with the road. They come into a, some depth of water, and a wedge of water builds up in front of them, and they lift up. So there's actually tire, water, and then road. Consumer Reports experts say the faster you drive through standing water, the greater your risk of hydroplaning. So it's critical to slow down. The tires you buy can also make a big difference. That's what Consumer Reports tests show. To simulate hydroplaning conditions, testers flood a portion of the track with three-eighths of an inch of water. They then drive at increasing speed until the tires lose touch with the pavement. In the most recent all-season tire tests, many safely reached 55 miles per hour, but with some, the vehicle hydroplanes at only 47 miles per hour. And not only do you have to buy good tires for your vehicles, you have to be sure to replace them before the tread is too worn. All you need is a quarter to check them. If you insert it in the tread groove and you can see the top of George's head, it's probably time to start consider shopping at least for new tires. So slowing down on roads with puddled water and making sure you have good, well-maintained tires can spare you from having a serious accident. The next time you find yourself hydroplaning, don't slam on the brakes. It's not going to help you. Rather, ease off the gas until you get a grip on the road. Jackie Calloway, ABC Action News.